Okay guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'll be playing with Ashuvel because you know after the post balance, we gotta try Ashuvel in RTA, right? Now the way I build my Ashuvel is that since he's an attack type monster and also CC, might as well make him one crit, da crit damage, right? You don't wanna lose the attack on this unit. So I made him tanky, have some attack on Violent Will. Obviously because my Ashuvel is very slow, guys. If you don't have will on your Ashuvel, then it's gonna get fucked up by the opponent. And who'd wanna have that happen, right? Let's go. Ashubel, in my opinion, has a very weird buff, you know. I mean, she puts the opponent to sleep and yet put beneficial effects on top of that. I don't see the point. I mean, the opponent's asleep, so why bother with the beneficial blocks? If you're talking about countering Josephine, it still doesn't matter. You, I know they're not gonna have shield on the Josephine and the monsters that the Josephine's gonna give shield to, but... Oh, we're still gonna allow them to sleep, right? We're not gonna wake them up, so actually... I don't see the point of the beneficial effects. And I disagree with the people who think that Ashubel is actually better than Hathor. First of all, she doesn't strip. And that is huge. Hey, I need to... I need that Triana to move so that I can put everyone to sleep. Uh, actually, actually, no. We can just uh, sleep now. There we go. Uh, now, the second skill of Ashubel is really nice to have when you're trying to CC one unit who should sleep. Here's a question, guys. With 2 CC and 4th on, on Swift, though my 4th is not on Pylon, it's on Swift. Are we able to perma CC the opponent? Because all it takes is just one proc from this uh, Triana and might spell trouble, okay? Yeah, I need to provoke before I actually trigger the passive from this thing. Mm. Like that, yeah. And then we reduce the sidebar of this thing because it's faster than my John, and we cannot have that. Nice. This is where we trigger the passive of the Triana. Let's go. Oh, it's not enough though. My foot did not hit hard enough. There we go. Triana, I bet you do not proc. Nice. See, uh, this guy's a G2, right? I, I can't tell you guys this where uh, using Swift instead of Violent. That's why we're seeing this. Mm, we're still gonna lap. I'm gonna use my first skill instead of the second skill. So that my Ashubel can actually uh, strip the attack bar from this old man, like this. <laughs> oh! I totally disagree that this unit is better than Hathor. Totally disagree. I don't see it, guys. But fact is, if you pair Firth with CC units like that, doesn't matter if your opponent is G2, you're gonna win. <laughs> That's just how OP Firth is. Oh man. So, what must happen is we need to kill the. The Perna? Yeah, we need to kill the Perna, but the Perna is gonna have three lives. That's okay though, I mean, uh, next turn, they have no immunity. And that is why they choose to one shot my Astro Bell. I see, I see how they is. Okay. If we can stun the Perna somehow, we got to see Ashubel, guys. Can we stun the Perna? Oh, yes, we stun the Perna! We stun the Perna! Uh, this means 
This means they're all going to sleep. Oh, your ass is gonna sleep forever. <laughs> oh, this is this has got to be so tilting for this guy. And now we can just manipulate the attack bar of the of the chicken with the second skill of Ashuvel. And this guy is G2, yo. See, Pernod's gonna come back, but with zero attack bar, guys. Oh, the, sli the stun from the Antares is just so stupid. And with Perth, Ashuvel is gonna have uh, animated life, is he? I mean, animated turn. <laughs> it's okay, though, we have Antares. So, we are going to cut like that. Oh, I forgot, guys. I forgot my Antares is broken. <laughs> but oh well, at least we got to see what Ashubel can do. Now, at this point, I'm so confident we're gonna win already. Hmm. Yeah, we, we might as well take out the Diana before... Before the Vanessa has to pass it back up again. <laughs> See, you know what I mean by my Antares being broken, right? My Antares just doesn't proc when uh, when he needs to, especially every time a unicorn is gonna transform. That is when you need your Antares to proc so that you're gonna cancel his attack bar. Uh, the whole unicorn is not gonna get additional turn. Yeah, but my Antares is never, never gonna do his job. Whereas other people's Antares, proc in first turn. Proc on the next turn. Such a clear difference in our Antares. Nah, a Molong with no HP is not scary at all. Okay, now I don't wanna go front. I'll just have to ban the old man, okay, so that uh, you know it's gonna strip into nothing. So I guess. We bring Laika because Laika ignores uh, damage, right? Ignore damage from the... You know from the what? You know, you know. However, my Laika is not skilled up. It's looking so sad. The Justice has Fortan cooldown. <laughs> Wait a minute! Fortan cooldown instead of two, guys. The difference, okay? Blame it on come to us for making this game so pay to win. <laughs> Let's not go for the heal just yet. What's the point? We're gonna put dots on ourselves and then <laughs> we're not gonna heal anything. So we wait, we wait. Uh, take this! No, I do not wanna do that now. Oh man. Now I wish I had noticed the shield. But, 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 is that? Because my Triana is on HP, HP, HP. So the Reckless really hurts the. <laughs> really hurts his ass. And this is why I like my Laika on a little HP. So he cannot just get one shot by units like. Usa! Units like. Uh, the monkey. The monkey see hole. Because it's not cute, guys. It's not cute when that happens. Yeah, it's now or never. Of course. But at least now, there's no seal of Wish of Immortality, right? So I guess there's actually an upside to the buff. Yeah. I guess I'm starting to see the upside of the buff. It's the counter Wusa, guys.
I mean, it's work. Okay. Uh, what should I do here? What should I do? And also to counter Leona with the shield and stuff. Uh oh, Diana procs, meaning we're not gonna get proc. <laughs> we have no justice? How long has it been? This is why you need to skill up your Laika. <laughs> a Laika that's not skilled up is not a Laika. Oh man! Oh man! This is so stupid, guys. <laughs> but we picked so correctly against this guy, and we just got rng it like that. Feels bad. I mean, the pick doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> but we just got rng it to death like that. Well, blame it on my Leo for not having skills up though. <laughs> Now we have to adjust this, it's too late like a... Uh... It's freaking too late. You should have adjust this way a long time ago. Yeah? Back when my Ashu Bell has the thing up, you should have adjust this back then. But you have no devil mod! <laughs> You're not Laika yet! Uh, it comes down to if this bird is gonna counter. <laughs> if he counters, it's over. Don't slip my... In your face, Hathor! In your freaking face! <laughs> oh. Maybe you should've banned my Ciara! <laughs> because Ciara doesn't do a job. Yeah, she keeps uh, missing her thing. In this Diana so lucky. If he had not proc right there, we are going to cut with Ashu Bell. We steal her attack bar. Beautiful. Mm, we are going to slip by the hot door. Yes, we are. Unless. Unless if I do that, and do this. <laughs> wow! Okay, okay. Now, we just need to steal uh, immunity from the fella, and then the Hathor is never gonna do shit anymore. <laughs> no, no, we played this so well, guys. If we lose the prop, it's gonna be so frustrating, okay? I guess it doesn't matter how good you play the game sometimes. No matter how good you draft into your opponent, no matter <laughs> No matter how you outsmart your opponent, yeah? Uh, bottom line, this game comes down to proc like to proc. See? <laughs> now we lost. We lost guys. We freaking lost. But we had it! We had this game! <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and hit the bell button. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Discord, which you can find the link down below.